Yo, the Cosmos airdrop season is absolutely on fire. And that means that if you play it smart, you can leverage your portfolio without having to take extra risk, without having to trade or open leverage positions or anything like that. All you got to do is be aware of how to become eligible for these airdrops, how to claim them, when to claim them, and most importantly, where to stay up to date with those things. That's why in today's video, I will provide you with an ultimate Cosmos airdrop guide that will be lasting at least for the first quarter of 2022. And if you think that's interesting and valuable, then smash up the like button, number one. Number two, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Number three, share this video with one or two friends on your Facebook, on your WhatsApp, on your LinkedIn. Tag me also on Twitter, at Cryptocito. And that said, I hope also that you will watch this entire thing. This video is sponsored by FMOS, who is the main sponsor of the Cryptocito channel. FMOS is an EVM compatible Cosmos chain that also implements IBC and is going to launch very, very soon. Also with an airdrop that is being covered in this video. Check out their website, learn about them. Also join their community, read about the code on GitHub, follow them on Twitter, join the Telegram community, join the Discord community, and just stay up to date what is happening here. FMOS is, in my opinion, one of the biggest projects, and I'm really, really grateful and thankful for them for sponsoring this channel. So make sure you follow them, give them a like, and stay up to date with their launch. First of all, I want to clarify that airdrops are not there to make us crazy rich. Airdrops are just a user acquisition strategy to bootstrap the token holders, to bootstrap the community, and to initially also bootstrap the liquidity in the best case. In today's airdrop list, I have many, many airdrops that you are most likely eligible for. So before we jump into this list though, I want to give you the blueprint, the perfect blueprint, what you can do today in order to maximize your eligibility to receive airdrops in the future. So let's get started right now. All right, so with this guide, you most likely maximize your eligibility for future airdrops. And I will go through a list one by one of many projects. Some of them you probably know, some of them you've probably never heard of. So let's get started with what are the basic eligibility criteria, right? The first one is if you hold coins, and this applies for every other ecosystem out there, not just Cosmos, remove them from centralized exchanges. Because if you hold your coins in centralized exchanges, not your keys, not your coins, not your keys, not your airdrop, right? These exchanges in most cases don't give you the airdrops that they get, right? They just keep it for themselves. And in most cases, they probably don't even care about it. Second one, if you're new to Cosmos, what do you do? You open a wallet, right? So Kepler wallet works by far best for me. That's my favorite wallet. There's also other wallets. Um, there's Cosmos Station. You can also, if you hold coins on Exodus, um, which I think is also a good wallet, you can also export your keys from Exodus, your Atom keys, and import them into Kepler. And then you can claim airdrops from that. That's also something a lot of people have asked me, but you can do that. Third, so what are the base currencies that usually give out the most airdrops in the Cosmos ecosystem? Obviously, we have Atom number one. By far, most airdrops have been given to Atom stakers, Atom holders, right? Osmosis initially was given to Atom stakers and holders. Juno was given to Atom stakers. Like a lot of these big coins that are now big Cosmos chains were initially bootstrapped through the Atom community and Atom holders. Um, then you have Osmo, which is the best decentralized exchange under the sun. Then you have Juno, which is a smart contract platform that implements Cosm Wasm. And then you have Secret, which is a privacy focused um, uh, blockchain that is also built on the Cosmos SDK. And all these ecosystems are now growing exponentially and there's many airdrops for holders and stakers of these tokens. Fourth, if you choose a validator, because most cases, um, stakers get more than holders, right? That's kind of like a rule of thumb. Stakers get more than holders, why? Because stakers actively secure the chain. They're um, eligible for governance. They're just more um, engaged and committed to the, um, to the chain, right? And um, if you um, delegate, make sure that you choose non-centralized exchange validators, right? Don't delegate to Kraken, don't get delegate to Binance, don't delegate to Coinbase, and also avoid 0% commission validators. Sometimes they get excluded, not all the times, but sometimes they get excluded. In the best case, you choose node operators, 
that are active in the ecosystem, that are building stuff, right? In Cosmos, Strange Love Ventures is super active. Cephalopod is super active. Notional is super active. Sika is super active. And also with Stake Cito, that is my own kind of like validator brand. We're running on 13 Cosmos chains. So you can also delegate to us if you wish to. Um, also, provide liquidity on Osmosis. I said Osmosis is the best DEX experience in the world, but mostly with popular pairs, right? Don't chase the crazy high yields initially, especially if you're new. Stick to the Atom Osmo pool, for example, right? And still has crazy APR, APRs. So provide liquidity there because some airdrops are also only for Osmosis liquidity providers, or at least you get more if you also provide liquidity on Osmosis, right? Think of Stargaze, for example. Super important make sure that you just start using these products very early and test nets, right? That's why you have to be aware of these things. Example, P-Stake. You can already provide liquidity on SushiSwap with your SDK Atom and ETH pairs. You can use Sommelier already. You can bridge liquidity from, Ethereum, from Uniswap over to Sommelier and you can, um, you can uh, provide liquidity through them. You can use FMOS, the testnet already. You can use UMI, they just released a web app. You can already use those things, right? Sometimes you get more or you get an additional airdrop or in Umi's case, um, we'll talk about this later, but you get exclusively an airdrop if you are um, using the web app. So stay up to date with validators for specific airdrops to their delegators, right? There's a couple of examples out there. Obviously, Chihuahua was a big one. Audit one, the validator um, of the persistence ecosystem. Then you have Papmos, you have Chandra Station, and you have Washington, right? Those are a few examples that come to my mind. Very lastly, actually, one of the most important things you also should do is to vote on governance proposals, right? Just be active in governance. Now, before I start with the list one by one, here's an overview of current airdrops that you can claim, right? We have the Loom airdrop, we have Comdex CMDX, we have Desmos, we have the Chihuahua airdrop, we have Stargaze, and also we have BTSG, the Bitsong airdrop, right? A lot of these, you have to actually do something and go claim them, like Comdex, Desmos, right? On Desmos, you have to create a profile. On Stargaze, you also have to perform some actions. Huawei, for example, is just dropped into your wallet. Um, so every airdrop handles it differently, but those are the ones that you can claim, and I will leave all the links on how to claim them. Plus, there's another one called DigChain that you can also claim. So I'll leave the link down in the description below, and you can claim them right now. Now, all right, so now let's get started with the list. First off, FMOS is one of the most highly anticipated Cosmos projects. It's an EVM compatible Cosmos chain, similar to what Moonbeam is to Polkadot, FMOS is to Cosmos, and the eligibility criteria is actually very broad. There's a lot of things um, that uh, a lot of users that will get the airdrop Atom stakers and Atom holders, Osmosis liquidity providers, Ethereum DeFi users, and many more. They will do it. Um, in a form of a wrecked drop, so that also people that got wrecked with fees, um, with gas fees on Ethereum, people that got hacked, people that got scammed on Ethereum DeFi, um, bridges that were exploited, all these people will get an airdrop. So you kind of like also get in compensation, even if you're not in the Cosmos ecosystem, um, targeted for Ethereum users. Snapshot was November 25th, 2021, um, and you should stay updated with this one. FMOS.org on Twitter or FMOS.org as the website. The mainnet launch is imminent. It was scheduled to go live on, I think, the 20th or 21st of January, but um, they postponed it for a week to do final testing because you only have one mainnet to go live. And the big thing with FMOS is that 40% of the Genesis supply will be given out as an airdrop. Um, and also there's um, in the tokenomics uh, part reserved for staking rewards and also for usage incentives, which I made a separate video on. But check this out. After four years, the target will be 1 billion coins. So um, you do the maths on that. Next one, Sommelier Finance, which is a project I'm really looking forward to, um, led by Zaki Manian and also Jack Zempelin, also Federico Quinze from FMOS is involved there. Um, and uh, you can basically bridge and provide liquidity um, from, Osmosis, uh, from Uniswap um, through Sommelier and you have um, a much simpler and easier experience and um, also um, different farming strategies. Eligibility criteria is for Uniswap liquidity providers, sommelier liquidity providers, right? You can already provide liquidity today, osmosis LPs, and a snapshot was on October 31st, 2021. Um, how to stay updated? 
some finance on Twitter, sommelier dot finance on um, is their website. The mainnet has already launched as of my understanding, but I think they're still very closed and they're like doing final testings before they go really public um, and um, also distribute the airdrop. But stay tuned for that one. Um, you can also see here in the airdrop distribution, um, the, the breakdown, um, some token is coming soon. The next one is just right now in the books. Um, and was just announced, um, Omniflix, which is an NFT uh, platform and a, and a media platform, uh, eligibility for that airdrop is um, you must have been an Atom staker or an Omniflix delegator because Omniflix is also running multiple nodes. Um, even for Cosmoverse attendees, this airdrop will be given out and many, many more. Here's a quick overview of who is eligible. Snapshot was on January 22nd. There have also been historic snapshots from a couple of weeks before. The next one, a cross-chain lending protocol that implements IBC. I'm really, really excited for this one. Um, the Ave of Cosmos just on steroids. UMI network is coming. Um, eligibility for an airdrop, there will be an airdrop, is that you must be an early web app user, right? When snapshot, I don't know, but I think as soon as you, um, as long as you use the web app, which is already live that just launched, um, you could maximize your eligibility for that one. Where do you stay updated? Umi.cc is their website, and then at Umi underscore cross chain is their Twitter handle. Uh, Mainnet launch is in uh, February, so next month, and that's going to be a big one. They just had a massive token sale on CoinList. Now, this one is an absolute big one, in my opinion. Gnoland by Jay Kwon. Jay Kwon, for those who don't know, is one of the two co-founders of Cosmos in the first place, right? Jay Kwon was, um, from my understanding, what I've heard, the brain and kind of like the um, innovator behind the Tendermint consensus algorithm. And then together with Ethan Buckman, they formed it into a company and formed it into what became Cosmos and this interoperable internet of blockchains. Now, Jay. Um, for the past year, year and a half, I think, has been a little bit um, under the radar. I think he's working on something new now. And he announced that a couple of months ago that this is Gnoland, right? And Gnoland is a GNOL language compatible smart contract platform that um, is still in the works. Um, he teased on Twitter that there will be an airdrop if it's possible for him to do, um, which most likely will be possible on a technical layer. To, to give out an airdrop for Atom stakers and holders. No details around the snapshot yet, but how to stay updated, follow Jay Kwon on Twitter and also check out his GitHub repository where he's also um, explaining a little bit more what uh, Gnoland is gonna be. And you if you can read code, you can also track his code activity. So next one, Shade Protocol, which is built on the secret network. So this one is eligible for Atom stakers, secret stakers, and Luna stakers. I even think secret stakers get the most out of it. Um, I don't have details around the snapshot date. Um, if it's already public, then please let me know in the comments. Um, how to stay updated at shade underscore protocol or shadeprotocol.io. The SHD token, you can also look up. Um, right now, there's a checker where you can import your Kepler address and you can see how many SHD tokens you will get. Next one, this one is... Interesting. Gravity Bridge, which is an Ethereum bridge to Cosmos, was just launched. The mainnet is already live. Um, and the graph token was announced. There was also a blog post about um, how the Gravity Bridge could potentially implement shared security or interchain security from the Cosmos hub. Um, there are no details in terms of eligibility and when a snapshot was taken. Could have been that it was during the mainnet launch, which was a few weeks ago. Um, but stay up to date with um, gravitybridge.net or uh, gravity underscore bridge on Twitter. I think this one could be a big one if there's an airdrop. This is just um, pure speculation. Same counts for the Gravity Dex and Emerus. For those that don't know, the Gravity Dex is an automated market maker similar to what Osmosis is, just developed by a completely different team, right? The Bee Harvest team, um, which I think is based out of Korea. They have built this. And then they got acquired by Tenement. And the Gravity Dex is currently accessible through Emerus, which is a DeFi dashboard that aggregates DEXs. It aggregates DeFi protocols. And it's kind of like this one-stop shop where you can get access to um, an exposure to Cosmos DeFi, right? By the way, 
Side note, Amaris is also going to work on an airdrop aggregator so that in the future, I don't have to, to make these videos anymore. You just go on Amaris, you connect your Kepler wallet and you will see which airdrops you can claim, what's coming up and all these cool things. There are no details about an airdrop um, um, eligibility criteria or snapshot date. However, I pretty much think that there's something in the works. I don't know what, um, but um, that's why I kept saying months ago, hey, why don't you just provide a little bit of uh, liquidity on, um, on Gravity Dex through Amaris? And if there's something coming, fine. If not, also fine. I didn't lose anything, right? Smashing through Sagan Network is going to be the Canary Network of Cosmos. It's technically going to be to the Cosmos Hub what um, Kusama is to Polkadot, right? So that's really, really exciting. Um, I spoke to the team. I will also get them on my channel soon. Um, there will be an airdrop and it will be for Atom stickers and holders and there will be a future snapshot. As of my understanding, they haven't done a snapshot yet. Could also be that they will take a historic snapshot. I don't know. Don't take this for granted. This is just my personal research results. Um, but just stay updated at Sega Network. Also subscribe to my channel because I will have them on here very soon. And mainnet launch is currently scheduled for Q3, maybe Q4 um, 2022. So we'll still have time for that. P-Stake, part of the persistence ecosystem, is a liquid staking protocol that allows you to stake your atoms through P-Stake. And then you get an ERC-20 token representation of that staked atom that you can then use in Ethereum DeFi, right? But there are also in the works right now to implement IBC into P-Stake. And um, I think that's going to be really interesting because then you also have liquidity on um, Cosmos DEXs. Eligibility for this airdrop is obviously for early P-Stake users. I made a video about this months, 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 months ago. Um, Atom and XPRT holders plus stakers, of course and also DeFi users, right? Ethereum DeFi users. Snapshot date was September 2nd, 2021. Um, stay updated with at PStake Finance on Twitter um, or pstake.finance as their website. The next airdrop, Neta. The Neta protocol is coming. It's launching February 1st, so just in a few days. Eligibility is mostly for Juno stakers. You had to have minimum 25 Juno as well as governance voters, right? The snapshot date was December 15th. Um, you actually get way, way, way more Neta than you get um, for for voting on governance than you get for staking. I think 10 Neta per governance, uh, if you did at least one governance vote and um, only one or two um, if you stake your Juno, right? How to stay updated? Follow at Neta Money on Twitter. Now, this one is an absolute alpha leak in my opinion. Um, nom, nomic, Dot io is a Bitcoin bridge that is going to come very, very, very soon. Um, the minute launch is currently scheduled for March and there will be an airdrop for Atom stickers and holders. Um, the snapshot was taken on January 21st, 2022. So very recent. The NOM token is coming. And um, if you're an Atom sticker or holder before or on January 21st, you will be eligible for that one. All right, next one, really exciting. The Metaverse of Cosmos, Passage, Passage 3D. Um, they most likely will do an airdrop for Atom stickers and holders. No details around a snapshot. You can stay updated with um, them on uh, Twitter, Passage3D or Passage3D.com as a website. Mainly is scheduled to go live in March. Um, so that's the PASG token. And then the YOP token of the Strange Clan project, which is also part of the same team, um, maybe will not have an airdrop per se, but will have probably very um, early in, like early ways for you to get hands on the job token very early on in the game as part of their prologue, as part of their storyline. So if you're looking forward to that and want to get exposure to Cosmos Gaming, Cosmos NFT um, uh, gaming experiences, then check out the Strange Clan. Now, the next one also in the gaming sector is Craft which is um, for channel station delegators. I think it's also for many more um, people in the ecosystem, but um, yeah, they're on multiple chains. So if you delegate to them, you will definitely get it. Um, and there's also other um, delegators, uh, other validators and other criteria that you can uh, get this, this uh, airdrop. Um, no details around the snapshot. I think in early January, they said that snapshot has not been taken yet. Maybe in the meantime, it was taken, I don't know. 
Um, but you can stay updated with them on craft economy underscore or craft economy.io. Mainnet, I think, is scheduled to go live in March. So let's see when this is coming out. But I think it's also imminent. The next one, Papmas, which is a meme coin on Cosmos. Um, Chihuahua obviously nailed it with the Huawa coin, and now Papmas is coming. Um, eligibility most likely just for Papmas delegators, um, primarily on Juno. Um, snapshot, there's no details yet. However, from the Papmas account um, at Papmas, they're always tweeting um, a, down, a countdown, and probably that means how many days left till the snapshot or till launch. I don't even know. But anyways, uh, so it could be that the snapshot date is still a few days out. And um, the launch, however, is very soon. I think it's also scheduled for either February or March. So let's see. Um, Pubmas is coming. The next one is Cyber and Boot. Um, this is also, um, this is a, actually an AI project. Um, Boot is to Cyber what Kusama is to Polkadot or what Sagan is to the Cosmos Hub. So um, Canary Network and Main Network, um, kind of like a relationship. Boot was already... Um, launched um, during Cosmoverse, actually, during the conference on November 5th. So this could be the snapshot date as well. Um, and eligibility for this airdrop, which is going to be a massive airdrop, I think think 60 or 70% of the supply goes um, to the community, um, is predominantly for Atom stickers and holders, but also a lot of Ethereum Def DeFi users. So there's different tiers. Next up, we have the raw token, which is probably um, the incentive token or also the governance token of the Juno DEX, Juno Swap DEX, right? So Juno is a smart contract platform and then Juno Swap DEX is going to be built on top of Juno and it's the native DEX of the Juno ecosystem. There's not too many details, to be honest, around this um, thing, but um, most likely there will be an airdrop for early Juno Swap DEX LPs um, and Juno stakers probably, I don't know. That's just me speculating. Um, snapshot, there's also no details around it. How you can stay updated is um, the Juno Swap Dex Twitter account. Um, and obviously just go over there and you know play around with the Dex, maybe do a trade, maybe provide some liquidity. Um, could be um, a reverse airdrop for early users. Next up, we have a bit of a controversial project, um, Game. They were previously called the Cosmos Gaming Hub, um, and then they had to rebrand because Cosmos is actually a protected brand. Now they're called Game, um, Game Official, GameNet.one is their website. Um, a team based out of Japan, I've talked to them months, months, months ago, um, and can't really tell you 100% what I, what I think about this, but there will be an airdrop for Atom holders and Atom stakers. Um, snapshot was taken on February 18th, 2021 as well as November 1st, 2021. So stay updated, um, follow them on Twitter if you wish so. Um, I'm just going to bring this up to you guys so that you can, um, that you're at least aware that this is an airdrop that's coming. To wrap this video up, here's a list of airdrops. Um, and there's a couple of airdrops that I have not mentioned in this video. For example, Mobix, for example, Odin, or even Sputnik. There's many, many, many airdrops that are coming. Also many airdrop rumors. So check out this list, support the guy who made this. And um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video today. I hope that you um, are now well equipped for upcoming Cosmos airdrops. The Cosmos airdrop season is on fire. Um, and yeah, if you appreciate this video, please share it with some friends, post it on Twitter, tag me at CryptoCito. Also follow me on Twitter and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and be good.